What's going on, everybody? Happy, happy Tuesday. So, I got numbers crunched for the 10,000 PSA Club exclusive members only. Um, kind of crazy when I pull it up here. Uh, you'll see, I did a little bit, a little bit, some stuff different with it, just a little bit. Oop, wrong button. There we go. So, the ones in green are our 20,000 club, like, gold member, all-exclusive club uh, cards. Heck, we might just call them platinum members, because 20,000, that's a feat. That's a feat. Uh, I didn't change some of the numbers around from highest to lowest, because I just happened to check that. And But you guys get the drift. I'll rearrange them for next time. Um... Looking at this overall, two of the biggest things that stood out for me was there was six over 1,600 tops Kyle Lewis rookie cards grade in the PSA 10 and Bo Bichette, 1384. Those really stuck out to me the most when I was looking at this because I know we're hitting our back end of the PSA backlog now because I only have two ultra moderns left in the whole Q process. One's in QA1, been there forever. Um, bigger order is probably why. And then I got one still in research and ID that was like May 8th or something. That it's, uh, what do you call it, research and ID thing. Uh, man, I was hoping that one would hurry up and start popping. That's got some Julio Rodriguez orange in it too, out of 25. But yeah, by looking at this though, I mean, you can start telling... You know, a lot of people not throwing them Griffies in. The Trey Youngs have stopped, slowed down. A lot of that, the Luka rookies, because I think for as much as we had, because originally with those older years, a lot of people were using Beckett at that time. But again, this is just PSA's numbers. You could uh, go on to Beckett and SGC, see how much there is total and a population count on to it. You could use the information however you want, general knowledge, buy, sell, trade, whatever, you know, invest into it. That's just stuff that I was doing as I've always stayed in every video for a while because I was curious on to it when I saw prices going way, way high and I couldn't understand because of pop counts. And back then, I mean, when you had something that was like 7,000, a pop count, that was high. Now we're talking 10,000 and... I'm sure there's going to be more uh, being added to this list. If you guys run across some, always just either comment or email me or IG me. I guess that's what the way they say it, IG message me or something. That way I can look at it and get on the list because I'm always trying to think outside the box. Uh, a lot of stuff we're not going to see, you know, probably a lot of the 2020 football for a while until it gets high and they release that stuff. I mean, base prism, stuff like that, of Burrow and Herbert, yeah, maybe. We'll get up there eventually, but... Kind of kind of crazy with some of this stuff looking at it. I mean, I, I look at the numbers by how much new has been graded. And as I go through it, I also look at the overall counts. And I just know by looking at it, from 2018 PRISM to the LaMelo Ball, which is last year's PRISM, they produced a hell of a lot more. <coughs> and you could tell... By the grading, too. Sorry, my throat's really dry today, guys. I was on the phone a lot at work. Try to get a little water here to wet it back up. But um, I could tell the difference in how much they made of it by these pop counts. And the same goes from, like, oh, what was I looking at? 2018, like, Tops Chrome to, like, 2020 Tops Chrome. Big increase in numbers in production. So we'll see what happens with Fanatics once their whole thing is done because now Topps lost WWE, of course, which is under the Fanatics umbrella. They are Panini only. Panini's trying to scrape anything they can to stay afloat right now. We'll see how the soccer turns out. See how the distribution channels work out after all this. Um... As for me, you guys won't probably see a whole lot of box breaks anymore going in the future because I'm letting my uh, accounts pretty much dwindle away unless it's Pokemon or something I want to buy into. The, the point of spending thousands per month just to get an allocation and to see it taken away by Fanatics uh, currently does not make sense. 
in my own opinion. At least with tops, I stopped with football and basketball just because the prices were insane. Uh, you'll probably see me as I keep venturing to card shows, looking at raw cards to buy to grade. Because I'm still myself a firm believer of buying the cards raw you can see. And then grading them, you know, you want to look at what a 9 always does first. It's the best advice I can give anybody if you try to start venturing this. One, get the tools to, to make sure you're, you know, you're looking at the cards right. But look at what a 9 does and what you're paying on raw, then your grading fee, you know, onto it. I mean, if you have, like, solid in your heart there a 10, it comes back an 8. You're probably going to be upset with yourself. Um, best thing to do is always just look at nines, and when you get to tens, you know, you get the little yes, a ten type deal um, going on. But all right, guys, uh, overtime, Friday night. I think Joey's on. Jacob from the Monster Den has told me he is going to make a presence. He's going to talk about breaking since he's more of an active breaker now. You guys have any questions, you can ask him. Um, he's also now on Whatnot, too. Um, you guys can dig in if you want to become sellers on Whatnot. No, I have not become a seller because my application's still been sitting in there, I guess, long queue out there or something like that. So I won't be able to answer a lot of that stuff. But in case you guys got questions, you want to check out his breaks and stuff, we'll get a little bit of fresh stuff going on. I'm going to look at bringing a couple other people in um, throughout the year as well, too, on overtime. Whether they just want to come on, chit-chat, you know, or just talk about you know, whatever services or whatever they're doing in the hobby and stuff, just to bring different aspects on to it as well. All right, guys, take care. Have a good rest of the week, and I'll see you guys next video. If not, overtime live Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern.